What's up, everybody? Thank you once again for tuning in to the official YouTube channel for Tim Number 37 Presents Hate the Hate. As you know, I've been interviewing all the uh, bands, the hosts, and the sponsors, as well as DJ Chris Landry, which is coming up shortly, about the event that they're all taking part of, which is on Saturday, February 26th at Tammany Hall in New York City. I am sitting here right now with the one, the only, another living legend herself, Miss Jen City. You know her, former Kitty, Suicide City, Demolisha, DJ Extraordinaire, and one of the hosts of the renowned Slave to the Metal Tour. Hello, Jennifer Arroyo, AKA Miss Jen City. Hello, Mr. Timothy Martinez. She said hello, Timothy Martinez, <laughs> just in case you didn't hear that. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for being here and thank you for taking part in Hate the Hate. It is my absolute pleasure, thank you. So, uh, first off, other than what I just said, please tell us about yourself, what you're involved with right now, and uh, who you are and what you're all about. Well, uh, definitely, first and foremost, music is my life. It's, it's my absolute everything. Um, so I'm a musician. I'm a bassist. I play guitar. I play a little drums here and there. Um, you know, work at home writing material for, you know, different bands I'm involved in, Demolisha, my band, Suicide City. You know, always out on my hustle, you know, whatever I can do just to make sure that I'm able to play music as my living, as my livelihood, uh, that's what I do. And also, uh, another big thing that I do is hosting the Slave to the Metal um, music festival all around the country, try to help uh, all these bands that are working with our tour to uh, help th get them to the next level, whether that means recording a much better demo for them, putting them in front of a larger audience, whatever it may be. I'm your girl to hit up and try to do that along with, along with 220 Productions. Much love, Dan and the crew. Oh, yeah, definitely much love to 220 Productions and Mr. Dan Jansen. You know I got nothing but love for respect for you, too. Yes, sir! Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Hate the Hate. Uh, hate the Hate is an awareness concert against hate crimes, bullying, and discrimination. What are your views on those three topics, as well as have you yourself personally ever experienced anything along those lines. Please tell us about it. Well, I, I got to say in 2011, the game is completely different. I mean, the internet is so prominent. Um, you know, there's face place, Facebook, you know, I'm just kidding. And, and you know, well, there was MySpace at one time, but the internet is so, pro uh, is so prominent that, you know, there's a lot of bullying also happening online and that transforms into, you know, actual real life bullying, et cetera, et cetera. One thing that I remember uh, vividly, um, was the Matthew Shepard experience. And seeing him, you know, he was hung like a scarecrow because of who he loved and who he was. And, you know, it, it, that was, it, it, well, I, I'm positive that was like in 1990s. And it, it blew Yes, my, it was. Yeah, it blew my mind then, and it blows my mind now that we're still encountering this sort of discrimination and this sort of hate just because of who people happen to love. I mean, love knows no boundaries. Not to get, you know, sappy here oh, please or anything. Do. But, you know, love knows no boundaries. Love is, it, it, I mean, it defies, it defies sex. It defies... Um, everything, absolutely everything. I'm trying to put it all together, but honestly, uh, cohesively, love knows no boundaries. So it's irrelevant if it's a guy, guy, girl, girl, or, or even a guy and girl, or, or whatever. Or if somebody wants to be in a relationship with two other people, who am I to say, who are you to say, and who are you to say that that's wrong? None of us. None of us should be judging anyone, and everyone should just be accepting. The world would be such a better place if everyone would just open up their minds a bit, open up their hearts a bit, to see what it really is about and what it really is about is just living life and not having someone else persecute another human being just because of their sexual preference. Well, I'm glad you brought up the Matthew Shepard case because that really is, in my opinion, I know it's been going on for a lot longer than that, but uh, when the media had started to take notice of, of the audacity and the disgustingness which is this hate crime situation and that wasn't it was actually in the late 90s i can't particularly pinpoint a year but uh the reason why i'm doing this event and everyone's getting involved which are my friends and colleagues as well is because especially in 2010 the hate crime level and the suicide level especially in teenagers rose more so than anything there were over 30 um cases of reported violent attacks, murders, and suicides. 
one thing that you also have to remember is that that's just reported. Exactly. You know? exactly. And there's a lot of people who live with their shame. They've either been gay bashed or they've been bullied at school and they don't want to talk about it. They're not going to tell their friends. They're not going to tell the teachers, principal, guidance counselors or whatever it is out there that is open to them. And so many people are just so, they live in their own fear of, of, of discrimination. Of, of, of their sexuality and you know it's 2011 it's it's got to stop and another thing too and like I mentioned before the internet that's why I, I mean I feel that we're finding out more and more and more and more because there's different cases that are popping up all around the country whether it's the Midwest East Coast West Coast it's irrelevant I mean us as a whole country have really got to take uh, we have to sit down we have to look at ourselves in the mirror and be like is this really worth it do I hate my neighbor because they happen to to be engaged to a man or love a man? Do I hate my neighbor because they happen to love a woman, or be engaged to a woman or married to a woman and have a child with another woman or whatever the case may be? Are we really, really wasting our time and efforts on that? That is, is something that uh, we as a country, I feel, we have to really sit down and look at ourselves and be like, is this really worth the time and effort? Or is, uh, you know, is my neighbor bothering me? Uh, my neighbor is awesome. They was always inviting me to barbecues or always doing something nice for me. Oh, and I don't like them be because of uh, who they happen to take a bed at night. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't hate the slut down the street who's banging every other dude, sucking every other guy off. I don't hate that bitch. So don't fucking hate on anyone else who happens to be uh, opposite sexually of what they do. And it stems a lot more than just sexual preference as well. It's race, it's religion, it's everything. Yes. It's, it's everything, any sort of discrimination you know, some and people, hate. Some people definitely say if you're black and gay, it's like a double whammy. I will say definitely right now, it's almost like if you're a minority and you happen to be gay or bisexual, transgendered, or even questioning, it's almost like a double whammy. You already have to deal with discrimination, and then someone's going to dislike you because of who you happen to date. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ask nine. Exactly. And that's why one of the people, one of the uh, companies that uh, a big portion of the proceeds are going to is the Trevor Project because they deal 100% as a suicide prevention hotline and everything else for LGBTQ teens in the country. And people like Kathy Griffin are a huge supporter and as well as us, myself, Jen City and everyone that's taken part in Hate the Hate, which is why it's all going to the Hetrick Martin Institute and the Trevor Project as well. Have you yourself ever been a victim of some sort of discrimination in any way, shape or form? Oh yeah. I mean, I've been touring in metal and heavy bands for 20 years. I've definitely heard, you know, nasty things said to my face, nasty things said behind my back. You know, I was in Kitty for many years. Everybody hated on us, even though we were fucking awesome, by the way. <laughs> the first all-female metal band that went platinum, by the way. Just so you know. 1.2, 1. Um, 1.7? 1. Yeah, 1. yeah, it's 1.2. 1. 1. Might be 1.3 right now. Aha! Uh -huh. Making money while we sleep, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, I mean, I digress. That, that's, that's, that's straight up bragging rights. I apologize. That's not what we're here about. But, but absolutely, yeah, I've had definitely people, you know, say nasty things uh, in all accounts. And you know what? I have an amazing family that loves me and accepts me. I have amazing friends all around me. So I could give two fucks less about what some fat fuck with a two-inch dick has to say about me. God knows where in the country. So, and that's it.